Greetings, denizens of the internet. It's Mike with Chasing Trail. Look familiar? It's the old Mule Town Road. I ride this road a lot, but this is hands down my favorite 50-50 dual sport road. It's a perfect mix of twisty, windy backcountry roads and some dirt. I'm someone who has a high tolerance for repetition, so I can ride this road over and over and never get bored. Maybe it's from all my years of playing MMORPGs that conditioned me to it. Even at work, if there's some tedious, repetitious task, I'm always the go-to guy because I just seem to tolerate that kind of stuff well. And I just don't know that many other places to go ride, so... Until I can meet some other dual sport enthusiasts around here and go on some rides, I gotta go where I know. I know this one and I love it. The camera makes far away objects look much smaller than they are and it makes everything look flat. A lot of the places I'm riding, there's a lot of up and downs, but when I go back and watch it on the video, it all looks flat. Like my ass. Which is why I'm looking forward to my Seat Concepts Comfort XL seat. The stock seat really is better than I expected though. I can tolerate it for quite a long time. Ooh, you got a fat ass. Alright, 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 that's enough! But the Seat Concepts will surely be an improvement. Heading up Mule Town here, then I'm going to go out to the OHV park. Cruise around there for a bit. Gonna be a good day. Thinking of trying Trail 4, which I haven't ridden in a long time, but it's a really cool trail and it goes up to the hang glider lookout. I pushed out last time because there's a really steep section. Last time I was on the 450L even and I pushed out. I actually remembered my ABS this time. I'm learning after like 20 times. Those vehicles are a good indication of the difficulty of this road. This trail is rated Honda Civic. I'm gonna try not to get too crazy in my front fork either. I realize that the spring rate is too soft. I posted on the Adventure Rider forums and some folks had some good feedback for me on some things I can try. I think what I'm gonna do next, as it's a fairly low cost solution and it's what I wish I had done in the first place, uh, let's go with the Race Tech solution which puts two it keeps the stock spring on the right tube and it adds a spring to the left tube and I think it ends up about 1.2 kilogram where this current KTEC spring is 0.9 and the stock was 0.7 so this is an improvement over stock but it's still too soft for me just gonna kind of put around today and enjoy this beautiful weather my sister-in-law, who's in Maine, texted me and said they're in single digits. So, feel for those of you who have a real winter. You can laugh at me in the summertime when it's 110 out here for four months. <laughs> Shut up! But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this as much as I can. California, come for the weather. Stay for, yeah, well, the weather basically. There's not too much else to like these days. Except trails and stuff like this. We do have some awesome terrain. And at least up here, it's not overcrowded yet. If I didn't have an amazing job, the likes of which I'll never find again, even half as good, I'd be out of here. I say that as someone who was born and spent my entire life in the state. I just can't make sense of what they're doing with all the legislation and things these days. Really chaps my ass. I've heard people talk about ghosting the bike. I don't think I'm a good enough athlete to do that, but is that like hovering over a toilet? in a public restroom when there's no ass gasket. 
and you don't want to get a rash that's what I've sort of taken from that you kind of hover and try to keep yourself in this neutral weighted position just pretend your seat is a rash inducing public toilet and try not to let it slap your cheeks and comments like that are why I'll never be a legit YouTuber not that I have any aspirations to be one I just doing this for fun I've enjoyed uh, exchanging comments with folks and getting to talk to people I don't get out and socialize a whole lot otherwise so and now that I've given up the uh, online gaming stuff it's providing me a good outlet to still communicate and BS with people and talk about something we have mutual interest in so that's pretty cool I still hope I'll get to meet or know some folks in the area that want to go do some rides and can show me all the dank trails I even promise not to fil film any of them if you want to keep it secret I just want to ride Hey folks, just got out here to Copley Mountain Staging Area. Let's uh, see what happens on Trail 4. There are a lot of people out here today. Quite a few trucks in the staging area. Let's see how this little mountain goat will do. This is a Black Diamond Trail. I am probably biting off more than I can chew. But, at least there's people around to potentially bail me out if I get in trouble. Just going to take it real easy. And it's very likely I will puss out when I get up here to the real steep section. This ground's a little greasy too. Especially with these stock tires. See if the little rally can handle a black diamond trail. I really want to get up here because once you get past this really difficult portion, the trail mellows out. It's really nice up there. There's a really cool hang glider, hang glider launch pad. I've done this trail on, on quads on my Raptor 700. So I know I can do it. I haven't done it on a bike though. I think it's creating a uh, mental confidence block. This is steep. Come on, baby. Yep, pulled up it in second. Questionable line choice. This is such a cool trail. That's why I really want to get all the way up it. I always say I'm not going to ride these technical trails and then I end up wanting to push myself a little and explore this trail goes up to the top of Copley Mountain hence the Copley staging area down at the bottom that's it we're looking at it right there straight ahead you can see the trail winding up to the top there Keep our momentum, come on, second gear. You can do it! Yeah! Yeah, I think the, I'm trying to remember where the, where I pushed out last time. Might have been right up there. Might have been right here that I pushed out. I'm not pushing out today, let's do it. Come on, baby. First gear mountain goat. The mountain goat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably looks flat on the camera, but trust me. It's steep. Oh. Oh boy. Too late to push out now. Full commit. Bolt down there. Someone lost a bolt. Come on, let's see if we can do this in a second. Oh! That was a that was a spine puncher. 
I really should probably be standing, but I'd be completely exhausted. I'm already getting tired and I'm sitting on my fat ass. Let's take my time. Mountain goat. I'm not racing. This is a climb. Holy shit, this is steep. My little mountain goat. She's doing it. Way to go, baby. But she's getting hot. <laughs> oh, hope that fan's working. Pretty sure I'm through the worst of it. You can see there's a hell of a view here. It's Mount Lassen out to the east. Sacramento River down below. Someone enjoyed a little campfire here. Yeah, that was a climb. Broke wind. I'm ready to oh, go. You farted. No, it wasn't me. It was the chair, right? Yeah, this is this is tricky. Yeah, up here the trail gets really nice. Come on, don't bullshit me. Oh, this is the reward for that climb. I want to go a little faster. Let's see if I can pull this in second. Without having to feather the clutch. Yep, just to keep our speed up. It'd help if I was not so lazy and would stand. Alright, this is it. This is the top. Uh, I'm not gonna stick around though. Wow, it's greasy up here. Okay. Should continue on trail four, I guess. I can feel some heat coming off the right side. Oh, side by side. Asshole! Well, hopefully today's video Highlights what a capable little machine this is that even with a very mediocre rider like myself It's quite capable This is a black diamond trail out here I'm Sure it looks uh, Pretty chill on camera, but this is definitely testing my limits Or certainly what I feel comfortable with Is that 12? I think we're gonna stick on four. Pretty sure four hits two somewhere up here. And that's where I'm like would like to go. And I can ride back down on two. See what time it is at that point. Might be time to head home, sadly. There is one more trail that goes up from uh I gotta pay attention here oh. Woo. I'm also still on the stock tires mind you so this thing's doing all this on these stock tires I imagine this would be even better with some more off-road oriented rubber. Oh, I'm gonna break wind again. Oh no. Maintain momentum. We're slipping and sliding. <laughs> oh shit.
Wow. Okay. That was a rush. Oh. I did it. Oh. Boy. Is that snow? Holy shit. There's snow up here. All right. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait for that side by side. What? I will slap you if you don't move this car. I'm gonna slap you. So I do not want to go on the right. This is really steep. I believe this is what Trail Blogger referred to as the Rock Garden. For pretty obvious reasons. Oh. I'm sweating now, boy. God damn, this thing's going so slow. Just like on the street. Can't help but get stuck behind a cage. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting to ride through snow today. And this is a lot longer than I remember. Dang, we are up here now. Oh, fuck sakes. Fuck my ass. Ow! Fuck me in the goddamn! These are not the tires for this. Oh boy. Oh. This was more than I bargained for. For certain. Okay, Mike, for future reference. Trail 4 is long. And there's still snow here, because it is, you know, January. Oh my god. This is not good, folks. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's deep. That, that was deep. And there's the first drop. Yeah, this, this is a mess. That's not good. <sighs> Folks, me and the bike are still in one piece. Made it to the hang glider. Today is a good lesson in what not to do, especially solo. The snow got real deep. I know my battery died, but I was in such a uh, panic just to get out of there. I couldn't be bothered with dealing with that at the time. But I got stuck in a lot of snow. I dumped the bike a second time. I got really tired. Had to stop for a bit, catch my breath. Finally made it through, just going real slow and uh, made it up here. So this is sort of the top of the hill. A lot of other folks were passing through at this point. So I got chatting with people and they said it wasn't, shouldn't be quite as bad going back down on this side. I sure hope not, because I got way in over my head today. Yeah, this is what happens when you go solo and bite off more than you can chew. I'm not even sure what the best line is here. So those, these tires, <laughs> these stock tires weren't great before, and they're really not good on this. If you get going even just a little bit sideways, it's going down. Yeah, this is really sketchy. If it weren't for all the rain, this mud and snow, it would be fine, but... Yeah, I'm just sliding all over. 
Boy, I am very eager to get out of the snow. This is not enjoyable at all. Hopefully, someone will learn from my mistakes. I don't like pedaling, but this is so incredibly sketchy. I mean, I'm just sliding. Even trying to put my feet down, it's just... I'm sinking in the snow. This is going to be bad. <sighs> man, oh man. What have I done today? There's no other way out of here. I got to pull it together and keep a cool head. Just take my time and get through it however I can. So, in the future, if I ever see snow, I'm just turning around. It only gets worse the higher you go. Oh my god. This is, this is not good. Yeah, I can't, I cannot stop. It's just sliding. Just sliding, brakes fully, rear wheels fully locked. Which is probably not the best way to handle this, but gosh damn, I so regret doing this. Oh my gosh. This is just pure mud and snow. I know bike. You're hot. I am too. Shit, shit, shit. There's just no margin for error here. Once you start going, oh, thank God. Dirt, sweet, sweet dirt. I started a long ways down to get out of the snow too. I can see it way down there. Oh, what a fool I am. And these tires are not, uh, not suited for this. Oh, fuck me. I get through one section and get right into another. Absolutely zero traction. Rear end's coming around. Can't stop it. Tires are probably completely plugged up with snow. My God, I got a long ways to go yet. Stay cool. No pun intended. I cannot stop. Oh, fuck. Breathe, breathe. I'm really getting exhausted. Well, this is the least fun I've ever had on a motorcycle. More traction. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh my God. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I'm such a fucking idiot. Can't believe I thought this was a good idea. I'm really 
really tired. I fucking hate snow. I hated snow before today. Now I really, really don't like it. I'm never going to the snow again, voluntarily. Fuck snow. Well, I certainly had an adventure and I have now dropped a bike out here twice in one day. Won't be much more commentary. I'm too tired. I gotta focus on just getting back down the hill and getting home. So, hope you enjoy my debacle. Learned a pretty valuable lesson today. Made it out and didn't get hurt. Had an adventure. I hate goodbyes. 